Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. Law firms will take this as a retainer. What? It must be a law firm when they hungry as hell. Now you gonna help me with this parole I'm dealing with? Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. With one taste of our premium blends of all natural ingredients, herbs, and spices, mm, you'll fall in love with meat all over again. Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce collection is made up of two zesty flavors, original and spicy. There's only one way to bring order back to barbecuing. Just add Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce and seasoning and you be the judge. Suddenly, he's changing it. She files her financial declarations. Same thing. Sing the subpoena. Miss Mershon has called her as the next witness. Um, all right. So that was it. Just the argument. No testimony. All right. I listened to the argument this morning where Adam Abadi, I thought, did an excellent job pointing out how dishonest you were with the court on Monday. And um, I'm actually surprised that the hearing continued. But since it did, here I am. Great, great. Um, so let's talk about, first let's just talk about what you did in preparation for today. Um, did you meet with Mr. Wade at all? Once the, mo once the motion was filed, did you meet with Mr. Wade and talk to him about the motion that I filed to disqualify you? On January, this first January motion? But, yes. I don't know if you could say talked about. Um, I probably had some choice words about some of the things that you said that were dishonest within this motion. So I don't know that it was a conversation. As you know, Mr. Wade is a Southern gentleman. To me, not so much. But speaking of feminists, <sighs> your girl, Fanny. What did you do? Oh, yeah. Fanny Willis blew it. Oh, yeah. What'd she do now? She will not be cross-examining um, Donald Trump, honey. That's for sure. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis is to blame for the delay in former President Donald Trump Georgia's election interference case, some legal experts say. An appeals court in Georgia on Wednesday has indefinitely paused the case against Donald Trump pending a ruling on a defendant's effort to disqualify Willis from the investigation. Analysts have criticized the prosecutor leading a case against Trump and his co-defendants who have been accused of trying to overturn his 2020 election loss in the state. The presumptive Republican presidential nominee has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. So she will never get the chance to cross examine Donald Trump or none of the other defendants. Well, I classify myself, myself as a legal expert. I have as much law education as anybody involved from his, Fine quality law school, UCLA back when it really counted, and as much experience in the law as any of the pundits. So I agree with that. It was a horrible performance, and frankly, she takes first place in my repertoire of dumb crook activities in terms of incriminating herself. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I told you that was going to happen, didn't I? Absolutely. And I told you one of the things that was of paramount concern was a category of wrong called the appearance of impropriety. And what did Judge McAfee say? In his opinion on that whole thing was the appearance of impropriety was inescapable. And I told you it was a step at a time. The young judge did extremely well when people were saying why didn't he do this why didn't he do that because he set the stage as he ought to have as a fair impartial neutral detached and wise jurist he set it for the higher pay grade of the appellate court to run with it mm -hmm. so here missy is walking in with her dress on backwards and the pen upside down and the wrong underwear on it and she's got hand on hip literally and she throws this sheath of paper on opposing counsel desk and it was really tacky and then she snake charms her head as she walks up <laughs> to the stand and to the witness stand and says she's going to testify and then she goes back in her body language says volumes you know 
when people talk and you're looking at them, only 15% of what they're saying consists of the words, 35% of the tone, which in our case was horrible and the words were ridiculous, and the body language is 50% or more, and that was just flat out negation. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, wow. Anyhow, she incriminated herself and she might go to jail for what she did to herself. Right, because she still has to, um, Jim Jordan and Senator Grassley has not forgotten. They're going to have her in front of that con Congress because you know why? They don't want her to be reelected for DA. They want to get that Republican girl in and I don't blame them. But she's not really fit to be the DA. She doesn't have the detachment who, that Fanny? is necessary. Fanny. No, this one right here. Yeah, Fanny. She, she doesn't have the detachment and the objectivity. And she's also made something that is an overall scandal for the people of Georgia. She campaigned on the platform that, unlike her predecessor, who she had been sleeping with, according to her own statements, she was not going to permit that to happen again. And when DA, she was not going to permit anyone to sleep with someone that worked for them. So what is she claiming? That wade worked for her and after he started working for her she had an affair with him well that sounds even more hypocritical than the reality which seems to be they had an affair they utilized it to get in a position to launder money and misappropriate funds and the big thing was nobody was over her overseeing her okay of Wade's expenses which so far have totaled out to seven hundred twenty thousand dollars paid on a matter that has not yet been set for trial. Also, in context, the Attorney General of the United States, who handles all of the business for the United States of America, gets paid a salary of half that. Her salary is about 200000 a year, and yet he gets paid $720,000 for preliminary matters, which they try to cover up by saying, there are all these cash payments that reveal the money that was misappropriated and some other funds, $7 million to deal with uh, ending, seven and a half million that supposed to have ended a backlog of cases that had not been processed, people languishing in jail, half million dollars of juvenile oriented funds that disappeared and two million dollars that was supposed to be used for improving the jail and a whole lot of misappropriated uh, funds that Sheriff LeButt and her seem to have um, pinched a little bit. So it looks like all of the cash payments and stuff that came out were just simply, man, clumsy means of trying to launder what was going on so nobody would trail it. But now people are saying, where's the money? Right. This performance right here when she was in court that killed the case if she would have this is my question to you if she would have been more professional more you know compo had better composure lost the attitude more professionalism do you think that everything that transpired what everything that transpired after this probably wouldn't have happened it would have taken longer to have discovered it. It was inevitable because there was a lot of wrong, a lot of failure, uh, failures in terms of compliance with Georgia and American law. And then there was a tax problem. Look, you, you're supposed to be dignified. You saw her father, mm -hmm. uh, John Floyd, get on the stand. Your Honor, if, uh, if I might, blah, 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 you know, if it pleases the court and he was dignified, you can give me a minute to think about that. And she walks in, and instead of sitting there in a dignified fashion, as you expect the district attorney for a major American city, she says, let me tell you something. <laughs> and Mr. Wade, mm-hmm, 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 he's a Southern <laughs> gentleman, but I'm not. And my language, would, let me say, mm-hmm, like what in the hell is wrong with you? And the other thing is, is if you read body language, she was very uncomfortable. She was ill at ease. She was trying to 
embolden herself by what she was doing because she was going to brazenly bash through this, which was, okay, your ass has been caught and it's about to hit the fan and she was going to, she's never been in a fight, fist fight. Mm -hmm. Woman, she's not supposed to, but she was going through trying to brazen it out like, uh, yeah, look how bad I am. You bet not mess with me. No, that's not what you do. You put yourself in a trick bag and anybody with any good sense would have said, okay, there is an appearance of impropriety. Ask the judge to meet him in chambers and apologize profusely for causing the confusion and the loss of dignity to his court and hope that's all that happens to you. Now she's in, probably going to have her law license compromised, if not snatched. And she is likely to be in front of somebody's grand jury. Mm -hmm. And it, IRS is going to stomp her. And she's already made, by her own admissions, false statements to federal agencies or investigators. And that's a federal felony. Right. And if Trump is in there instead of shitting his pants, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second or third time he's done that. If he isn't in there and his administration isn't going to protect her anymore, then she's in trouble. And look at her little smirk on her face. Look at that. <laughs> the body language is, is you're there on serious business and you're acting like this is amusing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, one more thing with Fanny because today um, Attorney General Murray Garland testifies before the House Judiciary Committee and he was asked by Cliff Bent about Fanny Willis allegation <laughs> why would they ask the Attorney General because the two of them are led to see what they're doing is they're setting up a conspiracy where the Attorney General of the United States, instead of independently dealing with prosecutorial matters for the U.S. government, is conspiring with a state Attorney General to interfere with federal elections by using the judicial process and the criminal system to knock a candidate out of an opportunity to proceed. Now, I know people say the jury convicted him, but the jury didn't get the right law mm -hmm. uh, charged to them. So that was bogus. And I'd say, frankly, out of every five juries, three of them are excellent. One of them lost their mind and the fifth one acts like they've been smoking something. So that's not saying all juries are good, but it's just the American system. And on average, it usually is. So the fact that there is a jury conviction does not really mean anything until an appellate court has ratified that conviction and it has gone to the highest court in the jurisdiction. We saw that with Dr. Cosby. I said all along, Fifth Amendment problems. You can't have this conviction stand. Everybody's going, well, they're convicted. I said, we're not going to stand. And they tried to. I talked to Dr. Cosby personally, all of the stunts they went through to try to get him to abandon his appeal. And they let him out immediately. He says, no, I'm going to be in here. We're going to promote justice. Mm -hmm. So they still haven't backed off of him because there is a vendetta that is apparent between these feminists who want their cake and eat it too and they just want vengeance for somebody who was a powerful man in terms of his image public image they want to destroy that so right. they got weak biden who shits his pants and they've got strong donald trump just two and a half years younger and he acts immeasurably more vigorous and masculine then you see Biden, who in a lot of images, you see, what is he doing to that little girl? Is he trying to pinch her nipples or something? Uh, He's reaching over and squeezing. I thought I was so, mention that. Yeah, but it, you can see it. It's in public. Watch the video, though. Yeah, um, they're all. 
what they're doing with Garland here. They're roasting his ass. They're setting him up. Now he's being a little setting him up and setting her up. Yeah, uh, setting him up, setting her up. She is going to be dragged in front of that congressional committee, and I cannot wait. All right. Um